Hello, this is Michael of Web Obsessions, and I wish I had a more cheerful video for you today. But I feel this video should serve as a warning for anyone who purchases wild caught tarantulas. The particular tarantula filmed here is in a funnel palm of Orhezi. It's a dwarf species that I acquired as a wild caught specimen. I have a group of Orhezi, and since my females are all mature, I try to get as many slings and juvenile specimens as possible for potential males in the future. Well, this particular one came in and fed several times without issue, but unfortunately it was harboring a parasite. In one fateful morning, my wife discovered the scene I have playing for you now, and I do apologize for showing a dead tarantula, but I did not want to leave anything out as I think all of this is important. The parasite that invaded this poor little guy is called an Acroceridae or spider fly. These flies occur in a lot of regions all over the world and unfortunately the larvae go undetected by the host or by the purchaser I should say for months or even years sometimes depending on the growth rate. This unfortunately means that a lot of wild caught tarantulas that do have the parasite could go unnoticed for years before this inevitable scene uh, plays out. Now, in all seriousness though, the reason why I don't usually purchase wild caught tarantulas from sources that buy them to fill spots on the table is for reasons like this. And not only this parasite, there's other parasites out there that are common also, like nematodes and predatory mites. But unfortunately, wild caught tarantulas are fillers for most tables, and this ends up being a scene that plays out but nobody really wants to talk about. Although an occurrence like this is extremely rare, it's something that we really should pay more attention to. When you go to these shows and inevitably buy that adult tarantula for a super cheap deal off the table, please examine them as much as physically possible. Any distensions to the abdomen or any problems that you see should definitely be addressed, and I would not purchase that tarantula, if at all possible, by captive bred. And I think I've talked enough on this point, and I'll leave it here at that. And thank you very much for watching.